So last week we talked about how Donald Trump slowly but surely is beginning to turn his attention towards Bernie Sanders. He sent out two emails about Bernie Sanders two days in a row because he's getting afraid since Bernie Sanders is surging. In fact, on Twitter, Trump even acknowledged that Bernie Sanders is surging, asking, what does this all mean? To which Bernie Sanders responded, it means you're going to lose. Boss move. Bernie Sanders is the king. <laughs> You've got to love that response, and you've got to love Bernie Sanders' confidence. Now, since Bernie Sanders has been surging, there are reports that Trump increasingly is becoming more and more fixated on Bernie Sanders, and we got confirmation that it was, in fact, because he fears Bernie Sanders, and there are reports indicating that he's secretly obsessed with Bernie Sanders' popularity and is afraid to run against socialism because of its simplistic appeal. And I mean, yeah, student debt cancellation is something that you really can't run against, right? Hence why Donald Trump has been attacking Bernie Sanders, because he doesn't want to run against Bernie Sanders. He says he'd love to make the 2020 election a referendum on socialism, but secretly, he knows he doesn't really want to do that, especially when you consider the fact that Bernie Sanders has a powerful counter-argument to that. Yeah, I'm a democratic socialist, but Trump is a socialist for the rich. I mean, Bernie Sanders has the strongest case against him, and this is good news for us. As Trump increases his attacks on Bernie Sanders, we should all be thankful, because if people start to understand why Trump is attacking Bernie, knowing that he's afraid of Bernie Sanders, then Joe Biden's electability argument is gone. It goes away. And if Democratic Party primary voters are truly voting based on electability and they know that Donald Trump is afraid of Bernie Sanders, we could even peel off some of Joe Biden's supporters who are reluctant to support Bernie Sanders based on policy but are willing to acquiesce because they just want to defeat Donald Trump. Now, Bernie Sanders is capitalizing on Donald Trump's fear, and he released a five-minute video where he basically just taunted uh, Donald Trump and he gave us a preview of the argument that he would make against Donald Trump in a general election. And I want to play this for you because it is strong, it's powerful, and it's not like he's saying anything new. Like, I've heard him make this case, but knowing that we're so close to victory, knowing that he could be making this case on a national stage in a debate with Trump, it really just, something clicked with me. Holy shit. Bernie can beat Donald Trump and just beat his ass. Crazy Bernie. In case you haven't noticed, Donald Trump, yep, Donald Trump is now paying attention to our campaign. In fact, in the last few days, he and his Republican apparatchiks have been attacking us over and over and over again. In other words, the most dangerous president in modern American history is getting a little nervous. And you know what? He should be getting very nervous because after we win the Democratic nomination, we are going to beat him and we're going to beat him badly. And let me tell you how we're going to do that. By telling the truth. And the truth is that Trump is not just the pathological liar. And it's not just that he's running the most corrupt administration in the modern history of our country or that he is a racist, a sexist, a homophobe, a xenophobe, and a religious bigot. That's true, but that's only half the story. The other half of the story is that he is a total 100% fraud. In 2016, Trump told the working people of this country that he was going to stand with them against the establishment. Remember that? He was going to take on the establishment. What a joke. Trump told everybody that he was going to provide health care for everyone. And then, as president, shock of all shocks, he attempted to throw 32 million Americans off the health care that they have. During his campaign, Trump told the American people that his tax plan would protect the working class of this country and not the wealthy. But the legislation he pushed as president over a 10-year period gives 83% of the benefits to the top 1%. And in fact, will raise taxes 
for millions of middle class families. During his campaign, Trump told the American people that he was a different type of Republican. Remember that? He was not McConnell. Uh, he was not your average Republican. And he, as president, would not cut Medicaid. He wouldn't cut Medicare. He wouldn't cut Social Security. And yet, the last two budgets that he produced called for massive cuts, massive cuts to Medicaid, Medicare, and billions in cuts to the Social Security Disability Fund. In other words, once again, told the American people one thing as a candidate, did something very different as president. Donald Trump, during his campaign, told the American people that he would drain the swamp. Remember that? He was going to drain the swamp. And yet his administration has brought in more billionaires than any administration in American history. They're all over the place. But it goes even further than that. As everybody knows, Trump has been demonizing the undocumented people in this country for years. Every day he attacks the undocumented as he tries to divide our country up. And yet this very same person, Donald Trump, who is so opposed to the undocumented people in our country, oh my God, how terrible they all are. The same Donald Trump hired hundreds of undocumented workers at his various resorts and other enterprises around the country as a private businessman. And President Trump, who tells us how deeply concerned he is about the outsourcing of good paying jobs in America, has during his business career manufactured his products, Trump line products, in China, in Mexico, in Turkey, and in Bangladesh, where he hires low wage workers. In other words, we have in Donald Trump a person who says one thing during his campaign and does something very, very different as president. We will defeat Donald Trump because while he is trying to divide the American people up, we are going to bring them together around an agenda that works for all of us, not just the billionaire class. While he is trying to divide us up based on the color of our skin or where we were born or our sexual orientation or our religion, we are gonna bring our people together around an agenda that says to the corporate elite, this country belongs to all of us, not just the 1%. So I want to thank all of you for your support. We're going to win the Democratic nomination, and together we are going to defeat Donald Trump. Thank you all very much. Watching that, it gave me chills because it just, it's so clear. It's so clear. Bernie is our ticket. Nobody else is going to make that case. Nobody can make that strong of a case against Donald Trump because nobody has the credibility that Bernie Sanders has. It's so clear to me. So there's something about this video that just, it spoke to me. It cut through all of my fears about Donald Trump winning. It goes away when I imagine a scenario where Bernie Sanders is the Democratic Party's nominee. Now, again, it's not, you know, going to be a cakewalk. We still have to fight really hard, and Trump could beat Bernie Sanders. But do I think that will be the case? Um, no, I'm confident that we can win with Bernie Sanders. And that case that he just made is so powerful that almost every single voter who flipped from Obama to Trump in 2016 they're going to come back for Bernie Sanders. Not only that, so many young people will get out and vote for Bernie Sanders. So many more new voters will come into the process that if Bernie Sanders wins, he could win so large that we get a mandate. So if you honestly, like if you truly believe that electability is the utmost important factor in selecting a candidate, you would be a fool to not know what Bernie Sanders is offering. He is offering us a ticket off of this hellscape. And I, I heard this, 
uh, conversation in the latest episode of Chapel Trap House. Shout out to them. I love them. And I think that Matt Chrisman basically said everything that I've been thinking, that Bernie supporters feel like all of the other Democrats, even Elizabeth Warren, they don't matter. Like, we are marching towards apocalypse. And if a Democrat beats Donald Trump, we'll still be marching towards apocalypse, albeit a little bit slower, right? We'll pump the brakes slightly, but we're still heading directly towards apocalypse. But Matt Crispin said, Bernie supporters support him so passionately because we believe he provides us with an off-ramp, an off-ramp so we don't have to worry about apocalypse because of climate catastrophe or nuclear war. Bernie is someone who can truly change this country. And now when you see him, as him and Trump begin to go back and forth, man, it is becoming more and more clear that everything we've said throughout the years is right. Bernie would have won in 2016, and Bernie beats Donald Trump. And he's confident of that. And after seeing this video, I'm more confident. So get out there. Make some calls. Make sure Bernie Sanders is the nominee. Because if we want to beat Donald Trump... Bernie's our ticket. Subscribe if you like this video, folks. Mike's tremendous, and he's doing a really, really good job. Many people are telling me about how wonderful the Humanist Report is. Bigly. <laughs>